All right, so some first basic controls. Um, if the ultrasound probe is not on the correct probe, the button is here. You want the linear probe. It's right here. That's the linear probe. That's the one you want for IVs and flood pokes. So you just press the black button. Now, sometimes it's not on the correct exam mode. Um, so you have to press exam, which is right here. So press exam, and then you can use the uh, keypad and move it to the correct exam. So use the keypad, or go Venus, and hit select. Now you're on the correct exam. Um, depth. You can't really see it right now because we're not on the arm, but depth buttons, so up and down. When I do mine, I like to have my depth all the way out um, to start and then kind of zoom in on that vein I want. Um, and then gain, so gain will be your brightness. So lighter, darker. One thing also that some people, when they're first starting out, uh, have trouble with is they don't know which way to orient their probe. Um, sometimes if you move the probe left, you'll actually get shift right in the fit in the uh, picture. So one rule of thumb to make sure that you're always in the correct position is you have your indicator on the probe. It's that small ridge there. Um, that indicator must line up with the indicator on the screen, so the green dot there. So always, no matter which side of the patient you're on, you should always have those in the same orientation, left, left. On the probe is the arrow. So that arrow actually is an indicator that aligns with your uh, dots. And so if you place this on the skin and then it lines up with the dots, then that is your orientation. Each dot is half a centimeter. So once you're starting to um, look at depth, um, make sure that you're poking with the extended tubing no more than um, one centimeter to one, one, one and a half centimeters deep uh, or else you will run out of catheter before you've actually fully um, placed the line. Uh, this can cause IVs to blow and issues with CT and transfusion issues as well and uh, infiltrates. When you're inserting the ID, um, you can't go straight down. You have to go at an angle. So as you're angling, you need to keep that in mind too and how long of an IV catheter you're using. So if your vein is already at the one and a half centimeters deep, um, that's a potentially hazardous poke because you're gonna have to go in at an angle. So you're gonna lose length on that IV catheter on your way there. Um, so just keeping that in mind as well, um, that the angle is going to eat up some of your catheter length as well. So typically trying to stay in that one centimeter depth range will 